you know the score by now. It is 22-7 at Tim Altman's breakfast. Nice. Right, in today's video, it's gonna be a day in the life of an eBay reseller. So I'm gonna show you various things throughout the day of what I get up to. So first off, we come in and we pick orders and we pack them. I've already picked them. This is just sales from between now and last night. So first up, we have a Spares and Repairs Xbox. That sold for 15, no, 17.59 on an offer. Bear in mind, not every day is low sales. Some days you get high sales, sometimes you get low sales, sometimes you get in the middle ground. Um, next we have this. That is a sewing box. That also was sold on an offer for 35. It was originally up for 50, I believe. Then we have this green velvet walnut chair. Had this in stock for ages for 70 quid. And that sold for 59 pounds on an offer plus 65 pound postage. That was up for 75, I believe. Loads of interest, but it just took ages for someone to buy it. And then we have various brass items, which again sold on an offer for 35 pounds. I think that was originally up for 50. So all of that in that tub sold for 35 pounds. Then this one here, look, Christ, that was at the storage unit. That was, we've had this for years and it's finally sold for £25. It's just a denim tuna. Years that's been in stock. This here is battered and it would be good for a prop or a restoration. And it is a, a Cold War era typewriter. Uh, that sold for £45 on an offer. I think that was up for 50 or 60 Maybe even 70 But because of the condition, I'll just let it go for 45 God, Everything's on offers. This is sold on an offer. I think that was listed for 40 It's just part of a beer pump. And that went for 35 plus postage postage is on top of everything this here is an early learning center toy that went on an offer shock horror for five pound eighty plus postage this sold pretty quick solid brass it's quite heavy it's just a, a brass figure of a pirate and that went for 21.99 plus postage then we have these Prelo football boots. They went for 40 pounds. They've got a little bit of damage. This has been pictured and mentioned. It's a split there. But again, all been disclosed in the listing. And then we got some Hornby track. Turning points, I think. It's just a set of four that went for twenty pound plus postage, and another sale has come in, so I can actually pick this one live on camera. So I'll pick it and then I'll show you what it is. You watch, I won't be able to find it. <laughs> Box number 35 we're looking for. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, this is what sold is a magic math machine that went for £10 on an offer. 
plus postage. As you can see, the SKU system, we've started a new one. We used to just raffle ticket them and put them on the shelf. But when you've got like 4,000 items, even that is not helping. So going forward, we've just boxed up everything with a number on and we pull it in the box. So when it sells, we know what box is in. I wish I started that from the beginning. So some advice, no matter how big or small, as soon as you start reselling, start a SKU system. Because when you get to like 4,000 items like I've got, it's just a nightmare. But hopefully one day in the future I would have caught up and everything would be skewed. So we're going to get everything packed up and then labels printed. Oh, got to take that chair out. Hopefully these tables hold my weight. Easy. Right, so I'm also going to show you what this came in yesterday is an auction. Um, I'll, it's not much yet. I'll give you a quick run through of what I got, what I paid, and what I hope to get back. Again, without research. Some of it is stuff I've dealt with before. In total, including VAT, I paid £136.88. So first up, I knew that was the first one. Is this Aqualisa pump? Now I've researched some of these. And these can go for anywhere between 100 and 200. But as I've got no way of testing this, I'm going to bang it up for between 50 and 75 with best offer. And that in total, I paid £11.80. Then we have, oh, yeah, here we go. A Dimplex heater. So it will be. Show them both. Yeah. But, well, it's one of these. That one. Yeah, that one there. So that perfect season for it. Owes me three pound fifty four, and that'll fly out the door for twenty pound plus postage. Then again for three pound fifty four, we got two skateboards. Nothing special, that's the first one. And then we have this one. Again, it's like... That's My Little Pony. Is it? Yeah, not a lot, no way. Well, Connor will be keeping <laughs> this one then. <laughs> so yeah, £3.54 I think for both of them. Probably get 15 each, maybe 20 but probably 15. Then we have, so 14 pound and 16 P. For all these skateboard parts, some of this stuff, depending on the brand, can go for some good money. So 14 pound, 16. Like bearings, screws, that can just be job lighted. Probably get, I don't know, like a tenner maybe without research. And then we've got some skateboard wheels with some bearings. ABEC 3. So some bearings can be worth money, but at a guess, £10. £10. 
Ten pounds. Ten pounds. These ones here could possibly be like fifteen pounds, maybe even twenty. And then you pair these up. So again, like ten, 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 five. The cheap plastic ones. Bundle them with them. Ten. So it's probably like between 50 and 100 pound there when you buy it out, but you can bundle it all together and sell it fast for 50 quid. So again, things like that, it's overlooked. Then we've got something different. So it's just some vintage like car books. Um, so I paid £5.90 for all of this. So like a Jaguar one there, look. Jaguar. Ferrari, there we go. Let's just say a tenner for that, a tenner for that. And then the rest will probably get bundled. Ooh, there we go, tenner. And then unless there's anything else decent in there, they could all just get bundled together. For say twenty quid. So what's that for? Again, that's another fifty quid there, and it cost me five pound ninety. Another thing that will one hundred percent be overlooked: electric heater, three pound fifty four. So that would be the smaller one. That will probably go for fifteen quid. And they they fly out because of the time of the year. Then we have a base mini stack of speakers, basically an amp. That one there. I paid eleven eighty for that. That'll probably go for thirty quid once cleaned up. And then for five pound ninety, a bag of sports equipment. This stuff again always overlooked. The bag itself, once it's gone through the wash, that could be 15, 20 quid. Then look, good brand golf shoe there, look. Once cleaned up, that could be 20, 30 pound. Cricket pads. <laughs> <laughs> so they could be 10 or 15 pounds for them. We could do the whole set actually. So it's got gloves. What's that called again? Cup? Something like that. Ball protector. <laughs> um, gloves, pads. So yeah, we could just do all of that, including the bag for, I say 30 pound. What did I pay for it again? Five pound 90, so 30 pound, 25, 30. 60. Cricket bats, here we go. Another thing that's always overlooked. Some of these, if you can get a vintage, like made in England ones, decent brand, you can get like 50 to 100 pounds, even in bad condition. This one here, I guess, let's just say 30 quid for that. So all in, give or take, is around 90 quid there. I can't believe I got that for £5.90. So you got to think outside the box when it comes to just stuff like this. Things that you know no one's going to look at. Just research it all. Sony Music System. So it comes with the speakers. There's one there. There's another one down there. And then the system is there. And I paid £9.44. Oh, easy. As long as it's working, it comes with like the manual and that. No, it doesn't. I lied. That's just a certificate. But anyway, as long as it's all working, I will get between 50 and 75 quid. Sometimes, it's not a stack system, it's one unit. But even them, like proper old ones that you think no one's going to want, they like you'd be surprised collectors will actually pay big money 
So we've had some similar to that. It's gone for like 100, 150, and they just look bulk standard, ugly things like that. Uh, Panasonic music system, £8.26. So this one here, I bid in on this without researching it because I know some of these things in that design can go for good money. But now I've picked it up and felt it, that's probably not one of them. So £8.26 maybe like 20 quid so a bit of a fail not a complete fail but a bit and then we have like a vanity set so there's a matching one £5.90 some of these can go for around the £50 mark if you've got all of it. On the auction, it had all of it. It was like seven pieces, eight pieces. And now it's only, well, three pieces. So I've got mugged off there. Um, but again, five pound ninety. Let's just say 20 quid. So not a fail, but not great. Then we have this chair, 1950 style bedroom chair, seven pound and eight p. Online, around the seventy-five pound mark. I'm gonna pull it in the shop for thirty pound. Already priced up, ready to go today. Next, we have a button back, pink velvet or crushed velvet, whatever you want to call it, chair. Again. Online, you're looking at probably 75 quid. I'm gonna pull it in the shop for 30. I paid £9.44. Priced up already for 30 quid. Then we have a bargain here. So these Formica tables, they always get overlooked as well. I've had green ones, white ones. This is my first one in that style. But they sell for good money and they fly out. We've had someone message before asking if I had any more and he'd come out personally to collect it in person and then I think he came a week later and got another one. Um, I've, I've, but they don't sell in the shop. I had a white one, I put it in the shop for like 40 quid, no interest. Bought it back, put it on eBay for I think 75 and it sold really fast. So this one here comes with four chairs like that. The others are there. So four matching chairs, the pull-out table. I paid £12.98. No word will I. I reckon 150 quid for that. And I don't reckon it will sit around long neither. Then I paid £18.88 for this Vax carpet washer. That one there. It's in a bit ropey condition, so it needs a very good clean. Again, because it was done online, you can't really tell the condition. They literally just take one picture from a distance and you've got to judge it by that. And they don't describe it, nothing. It's all guessing. So as long as it works, I will get 50 to 75 quid if it's working and cleaned up. Worst case scenario, like 20 quid on Marketplace once cleaned up. But again, if it's working. But um, if it's not working, online, spares or repairs, maybe like 30 quid, but you'd be sitting on it for a long time until someone that's got a broken one needs something off of that. So fingers crossed it works, and I'll get 50 to 75. And then, as you know, a box of LPs. I paid £4.72. It's just random records, and you know already if you're a subscriber, I just bundle them up and sell them as a job lot of 50 at a time. And so that's roughly, I would say that's about 40 there. 
paid £4.72, I sell a job lot of 50 for £22.99, but I will cherry pick the good ones. So if there's some in there that's worth around seven, eight pounds and above, I'll bang it on eBay. So let's just say, or even like, if I just pick out two from there, that'll work a tenner each. That's 20 quid, plus the rest will get bundled and get another 22.99. Don't know if any of that made sense. But that's all of the auction stuff. Oh. Oh. So I just sold this on Marketplace for 100 quid, so I'm gonna deliver it. Oh. So we just pulled up at the auction house, we're going to go in, quickly place some bids and then we're going to shoot off to Exeter to restock the shop. <laughs> Let's have it. So I've got a chair which is sold and it needs to go out on the pallet. So you can pay for pallets or find a company that gives you free pallets. Luckily for me, on site, I can get free pallets. So although it's wet, I'll pull it in the warehouse and by tomorrow it'll be dry enough to post out that chair that's sold. Right, so now we're loading up the van, ready to restock the shop in Exeter. So, we'll put a rocking chair in. There's a Triumph motorbike jacket. This velvet bum back bedroom chair. That bedroom chair. Yeah, they've seen all that already. A load of um, enamel lampshades. Egg chair. A large mirror. And then we've got some smalls going in. So we got like a mirror there. We got some more clothing, that's brand new with tags. We got this uh what's that called again? Pufferfish. Yeah, taxidermy puffer fish. Just some odds and ends there, some cleaning stuff to have a little tidy up on there. Some CDs, I just I sell them £2.50 each, they triple out nicely. And two coach lamps. So we're gonna load this up, go to Exeter, restock, tidy up, and then off to collect some cardboard boxes. In half a mile, take the exit on the left.
So we've just gone to pick up the boxes after restocking Exeter's shop and there was no boxes there, even though they knew we was coming. But it's one of them things. I'll have to get them another time. This is going to be the end of the video. I just want to say to anyone out there that is thinking about starting this style of business, I've got limited education, no qualifications, a recovering addict, demons I'm still fighting to this day. So if I can do it, so can you.